Hey guys, it's John here from Horror Fiend Reviews and today I am back with a bang, with a huge ass haul video that I've been meaning to make for the past little while but I was waiting for a few things to come in before I did it. Um, I also got a brand new job so a lot of my time has been consumed by that. More so with the actual travel aspect, previously I used to work from home where there was zero travel and now I actually have to go in every day. So yeah, which means that my YouTube videos have taken a bit of a dip and today I have a huge ass haul video with one of my holy grail items that I cannot wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, my good friend Darren over at Horror and Me and also Jay from Bright Crate. They made this super awesome figure company called Serial Resin Co. I will leave all applicable links in the description. But I was very lucky and very fortunate enough to receive one of only 10 golden leprechauns. That's right, golden. So Darren sent me the figure. I got number 2 of 10. He signed it on the back here. Same in the back here. So I mean, if you want to forge a signature, you're totally welcome to. But I'm super happy I've gotten this. Check that out. This is awesome. I've taken it out, I've displayed it. I've got it sitting here next to my Deadite Ash bust I got from Fright Crate. I love this, it's so good. It looks fantastic in the sunlight. It just glistens. It's beautiful, very well detailed. And I know they've got a lot of exciting things coming out in the future. Uh, they just released that they're going to be doing a run of Decker from uh, Nightbreed Figure, so I'll definitely need to jump on that because that's one of my all-time favourite movies. If you watch this channel, then you will know I fucking love Nightbreed, so I'll definitely look into that. But yeah, this is this is great. Darren, Jay, done a fantastic job. I can't wait to see you guys in the future. I've also been on a huge Blu-ray kick recently. I've just been amassing like a ton of Blu-rays, a lot of stuff. I've, like I've said before. It's movies that I love, I've just never owned them on DVD and Blu-ray, so I decided to snag up a couple. The first of which, I actually purchased this at Fright Me in the Falls, but I forgot to include it in my haul video because I'm an idiot. Actually it was in my bag and I just forgot to pick it out. But, we have here, Deathgasm. I just found out that they're going to be making a Deathgasm 2, called, I think it's called Gormageddon, which I am very much excited about. This is an excellent movie. Uh, I got this from uh, Raven Banner. They did the distribution for Canada. I believe. Who we'll call me on this? Because I'm an idiot savant. I typically don't know what I'm talking about. I just like to flap my gums. So, yeah. But this movie is insane. It's so damn good. So damn funny. Best soundtrack. Love it. Had to get it. Ten bucks that cost me. Steal. Okay, next. Uh, these items are actually from Horror Pack. I received my horror pack maybe about two weeks later than I normally do, so I just there was there was no point in doing a video. Everyone had already seen what was in the Blu-ray pack and I just kinda felt kinda deflated about it. Previously I got them within a couple of days, everyone else, and that it's it's okay, but a couple of weeks, not the best. So yeah, I got these. Uh, would you rather love this movie? Saw it on Netflix. Glad to own it. Probably going to watch it at some point very soon. The Barber, I've heard of it but I've never seen it. I'm definitely going to check that out as well. Pretty exciting. Maggie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere. I've not actually watched it. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Sounds like a decent uh, sort of zombie outbreak movie so I'm down with that. And then lastly, Bitter Feast which is the Horror Pack exclusive. Personally never heard of it. Never seen it. But again, I'm down for a good horror movie, so I'll definitely check that out. Next are a few of my Amazon Prime purchases, which is very dangerous at this time of year because they have the one-click buy, which I use way too damn often. But this I got for the recent episode of Hot Shoes and Blood, which you guys probably already know that I'm now a member of the show, and I'm very excited about that. But this was a movie that I saw a very long time ago, so... I decided to just grab it on DVD because I wanted to own it anyway, so... And they, they wanted like $36 for the Blu-ray and I was like, no... No, I'll just get the DVD for half the price. So, I got Street Trash, which... It's fucking insane. 
definitely go back and watch the episode where we talk about Street Crash. It's a fucking crazy, crazy movie that you will love. Next, we have Chell's Play with this really cool card on the front. A movie I've not seen for a number of years, but I'm very excited to watch it again. So I'll probably do that at some point over the weekend. We have Return of the Living Dead. Love this movie. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary, 30th anniversary edition, damn, and I just really love the artwork, I thought it was really cool, um, I'm not sure who put this one out, yeah I don't know, I think it's just like an alternative cover, no idea who done the art, it's awesome, love it, and everyone knows I go to Sunrise Records here in Canada, since HMV shut down they took over, so they've typically got very good deals for uh, those sort of Blu-rays, so I picked up a few, uh, one of which was One Hour Fall with Robin Williams. Creepy ass movie, as you can see, I got it for $4.99, super cheap. Very, very creepy, unsettling movie, which again, I've not seen this for a number of years, so I'm gonna give that a shot again. Very excited. I also grabbed Jeepers Creepers on Blu ray. Like the first one, fuck the director, the rest are all shit. Jeepers Creepers 1 is decent. I like Justin Long, I'm a fan of the guy. Love Tusk, hate Victor Salva. Last but not least, Halloween 2. I did not own this on Blu-ray, and I saw this a lot during like October, and I really wanted to pick it up along with Season of the Witch, but then when I decided to pull the trigger and actually get it, Season of the Witch was gone, and this was two for 20, so I got this and I also got Mystery Men on Blu-ray, because I fucking love that movie as well. Um, but yeah, Halloween 2. Awesome film. And now, we're on to Pièce de Résistance. I have not spoken French in like fucking 10 years, so I don't know what that means, but I hear a lot of people say it. I've got three NECA figures that I'm very excited about. Uh, one of which, like I said at the beginning, is one of my holy grails. And I've been looking for this for a number of years. I found it for an insanely good price. I got it from the US. It took a couple weeks to get here. Very excited. I'm going to leave that one to last. Okay, so first I picked up this from Toys R Us. It was an insanely cheap price, it was like $20. It's one that I've been looking at for a very long time, so I decided just to grab it while I could. I ended up ordering it online, which was dumb, because I could have just got it in the store and picked the one that I wanted, but they decided to send me this one. So it's the uh, Leatherface, Text Chainsaw Massacre 2, Bubba figure. But look at that fucking tie, man. That really pissed me off. I showed it to Darren and he just laughed at me. So, yeah. That really, that's really annoyed me. He told me to take it out of the blister pack and I really don't like doing that because I like displaying my figures. Um, I mean, I don't really have many, but yeah. I'm really excited for this, but like that, that really bugs me. That bugs me. But you know what? Eh, it's okay. It's just going up on the wall anyway, so yeah. Bubba figure, really cheap, Toys R Us, if they still have them in Canada, check them out, very cool. Again, this is another one I was looking at for a very long time, and this goes with Leatherface, and it is Mr. Bill Mosley himself, Chop Top, from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I also got this for about $20. Uh, I saw online that it was about $28, and then when I went in, they charged me $21 for it, so... I didn't complain, but yeah, I just I, I really love the artwork on these uh, these retro cloth NECA figures. Like this is this is awesome. This is great. I can't, I don't know who does the artwork. I can't remember, but it's awesome. And then there's there's the back. That's really cool. So yeah, had to get that. I've been eyeing it up for a while. Just it wasn't worth the price. It was like forty dollars. So decided to get it for like twenty. And last but not least, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a drum roll in here, I don't know yet. Nah, that just builds up way too much. This, if you follow me on my Instagram, I took a picture of this a very long time ago. I did get it a while ago, but this is the San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive Super Freddy figure. Hell yeah. Man, I. I don't know what it is about this this figure. I just it, it, I thought it looked really cool. I love the grey, I love the black, I love the white. I love the artwork in the back. That's that's probably the bit that sold me the most. 
I saw a lot of people getting these figures for the past couple of months, and I'm just like, man, I need to get it. So, yeah. Faster than a Bastard Maniac. Super Freddy. So, yeah. I mean, it's not technically Robert England, it's like uh, that Michael Bailey, I think his name is. But, um, yeah. I really love this. I love the detail. Love the artwork. I really like Dream Child. Uh, do you know what? I love a lot of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. The only one I've got a problem with is four, and the only reason for that is because they, they had to replace Patricia Arquette. And I just think I just I didn't like the girl that they replaced her with. I mean, they could have got her for like a day. I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking because I could go on for days about this shit. But yeah, Super Freddy. I was really excited about this man when I found it online. I found it on Amazon for like. Thirty dollars US, which isn't that bad, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. So that's got up on my wall, and yeah, that's uh, that's been a lot of the stuff that I've got recently. Um, I've got a few things coming this time of the year. It's all about Christmas and getting presents for other people, but sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. So yeah, that's what I've been getting over the past little while. But yeah, I've missed you guys. I've just made a lot of really good friends over the past couple of months and since it's coming into a new year, new me, whatever you want to say, whatever, whatever you're doing for a new year, I just want to say one thing. I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone in this amazing community for giving me the courage to talk about something that I love and I was almost ashamed for loving for the majority of my life. I've met some incredible people, Sam, Victoria, Phil, Darren, Al, David, Hannah, like I've lost count. There are so many awesome people in this community and everyone has so much respect for each other. We're all in this for the same reason. That's what we all have in common. That is the root of all that we love. So don't forget that. That's, that's all I'm gonna say, don't forget that. I guess I'm just kind of reminiscing. It's been a while since I've made a video and we're coming into the new year and just yeah everyone just have a great time everyone have a good have a great holiday season have a happy new year love you guys watch hot cheetos and blood every saturday at 6 p.m central standard time links in the description don't forget to follow on social media this more of reviews i've been john and i will catch you later Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram down below. And also, just off to the side, I've got one of my friends' YouTube channels there as well if you want to give them a check out. But this has been Horror Fiend Reviews. I've been John, and I'll catch you later.